Hello again YouTube, it's Mr Analytical here and I have a video response to our first subscriber question of the day. So we have a question from Atel 1972 and he would like to know about loading up watch faces and getting he's basically getting the Frontier which is the same model as this for Christmas and I'm sure he'll be happy. So we just want to explore how we actually load up all these different watch faces and where we get access to new ones. So it has been mentioned a wee bit in some of the past videos but we'll just have another look at that at the moment. So just to discuss first of all the watch faces that are on the watch initially. So to view those you press and hold on the watch screen and it will show you all the different watch faces and you can page through those so these are all standard ones so as far as this is a standard one so these are all standard ones so you've got this one called large step circle active class heartbeat tracking mate steps challenge four in one the gear dashboard the one where you can put your own photo in blue pop chronograph frontier minimal steps challenge and urban class so this is quite a nice one if you're wearing shirt and tie and that sort of thing gives you the date also and all of these ones here you can actually stylize so another thing to note is the little dot at the top shows you which face you're on so you can see when you've got to the end of the list so to stylize the face you just press and hold on your watch face and hit stylize and then you can actually change which dial style you would like and so on so each of those cost uh, the watch faces that are already on the watch are customizable now really the question that at till 1972 has is how we load on additional watch faces so you can see as i scroll through my watches you've probably seen that i have some of these nice fancy ones this is detector which looks really cool we have also flexible again really nice watch face you can see the little second hand going around there and we have definition again with the second hand and the uh, battery level and so on and we've got blue stealth which has shown you also before you can notice here is a little second red dot going round and round the screen so that's quite an efficient one on the battery so let's have a look now at how we get additional faces so there's a few ways of doing that you can actually press and hold on your watch and you go to the very end of the list and it says get more watch faces so if you press on there it's really excellent you can just go straight in here you can either go and show it on your phone or you can just start paging through free watch faces right from your watch so it's really really handy and it means you can do this at the touch of the screen so you can basically page through all these free watch faces so that's really really good that you don't actually have to go onto the phone and worry about well which app I think uh, the, the query from our subscriber was really what app and how we load them from the app and so on so you can see it's really easy so let's take an example here timeless by Pluto press on this one and just hit install timeless by Pluto needs to have permissions so you just accept that and press the tick it loads up so this is coming from your phone now or from the Wi-Fi and then it installs and um, you've got I got a quick vibration notification there that Timeless by Pluto is installed so let's go back and let's see so you can see it doesn't put it on by default you actually have to go and select it and you'll see I have a little orange dot here which means of a notification if I scroll over there I'll see Timeless by Pluto installation complete so if you click on that notification you can say apply watch face and boom we have 
timeless by Pluto. So that's really, really nice. So the brightness I have here, you can see it looks brighter on the camera than it actually is, but it's really good enough for brightness. But if you want to change that, you can go in here and press a little brightness. And you see there I actually have a little bouncing. I don't know what was going on there. My brightness was a little bug there. It was bouncing up and down. But you can see there I can turn my brightness up to 5. You know, really for videoing anyway, that's too too bright. It looks okay in, on the actual watch face here, but let's just turn it back down to number 2. And that's bright enough for me. So that's how you load directly from the watch. So as you've seen there, you can also go, when you go get more watch faces, it gives you the option to go show on phone. So you can either press there, or we can go directly to the phone. So let's show you that. And actually, this is quite a nice watch face we've just found. <laughs> so let's have a look on the phone. So I'm working on a Galaxy Note 3. And you can see I'm connected to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and so on. But if we go into the Samsung Gear app, let's just turn down the brightness of it for you. So you can sort of consistently see what's going on on the phone. Okay, so on the phone, there's a few ways you can do it. You can see there, right at the top, just as if it's waiting on us, watch faces, stylize, add and uninstall. So you can go in there, or you can also go down to the bottom and you see Samsung Galaxy apps. So let's just show you quickly in watch faces. There you go, the current watch face at the top of the screen. And if we scroll up, We've got all the other watch faces that I actually have installed. And then it starts to show you featured watch faces. So you can go into these. And it's just like browsing the, the Play Store. It just shows you what the price is. 164 in this case. And then a few images of what that watch face would look like. So it's just a matter of clicking on the 164 and downloading it. So I'll just show you how that works on a free one. So you can just hit more down at the bottom here and it'll show you any amount of different watch designs. If you go back and you can go down here to Samsung Galaxy apps. And if you just make sure gear is selected at the top. And then you can see here on the top you've got top apps, featured apps and watch faces. So let's go to watch faces. And then you've got a basically a breakdown between digital analog collaborations, sports and health watches, art watches, interactive, informative and others. So you can narrow it down that way. Or you can just go and sorry, start scrolling down the list. So there's a few there of featured ones. So if you just go see more. And when you hit see more now you get a pictorial list and that just is never ending literally goes down so that's all the watch faces so if you just want uh to start off even i would recommend just starting off with the free watch faces what's the point in paying for them when you're very happy with some of the free ones so you just go and select free and there you go you have a whole lot of free watch faces so it's quite as simple as, again, let's try something crazy here. Let's look at this Lux Gold Watch, which I probably wouldn't pick in the month of Sundays. But let's go have a little look. You just press on the download button. And just like any other app you'd pick, it just shows you it downloading and then installing. At this point, my watch is off. And see... It comes back on, let's show you. So you can see it's installing. So just while we're while it's installing you can browse additional watch faces. So there's lots of them here. You can get all different ones and if you're picking different straps then that means you can get a watch face that'll match the strap that you have. So you can see here now we've got Lux Gold Watch installed. So if you press on this little play icon, you can see my phone or my watch side turns on. And now we have this 
old antique gold Rolex style watch face. Now, if you're me, you won't like that. So we can actually just go and I'll show you how to remove watch face. So to remove watch face, you just press and hold on here. As if it's an installed watch face, like Lux Gold watches, doesn't look that luxury to me, to be honest. But any of the installed ones you'll see has a little like no entry sign at them. So all the, the ones that are already on the watch don't because you can't uninstall them unless from the phone we can check that out. But any of the installed ones you can remove. So just press the little no entry sign, uninstall, press the tick. And there you go, you've just freed up some space to get something more exciting. And that takes you back to your previous watch face, which is pretty neat. So let's just check on the phone and see if we can uh, uninstall some of our existing. So let's go back. So we're back into the Gear S3 app. Let's clear our reminders here. So. Let's go back into watch faces, which we had at the start. So here you've got all the watch faces that you've installed, as we discussed. So let's see if we can actually install some of the existing original ones and in the interest of freeing up some space. So my least favorite is probably, let me see, it's a close tie between Active Classic and blue pop because I don't really like white ones so it's just going to use a lot of energy so let's press on that one and you see at the top here we have delete or stylize so let's try pressing delete and it just straight away says done 